Very excited to see how the player dynamics and the team dynamics work here in a game one. Winners, semi is going to be a small battlefield for game one. Let's and get already, it. They're, they're getting into something over on blue team. Saw yeah. that quick <laughs> sticky attempt. Oh, and you know what? Some, one thing I didn't consider, that uh, bucket is going to be kind of brutal for uh, for the blue team, considering if Plus is able to get it off, like there's going to be grenades flying, there's going to be blade beams even on the screen. Oh, it could get ugly fast. And already he's got two a two stack, I believe. Right. Yeah. The thing is, even if it doesn't do anything, the threat of it is something to worry about too. It Absolutely. might just change the gameplay enough to kind of mess up the tempo that blue team is used to already. Pretty even so far. Yeah, not too bad. The game watch. Look at that. Oh wow, Cloud's already dead. Off the top too with the falling down air. Didn't really expect that to take the stock and that lingering hit wow. on the back air. Connects with the cipher, stays out a little bit longer, and seals the deal. And red team. A little bit of an early lead here. Let's see if they can try and uh, run away with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, doubles can change so fast, but to start the game like that is pretty impressive against two characters that aren't the easiest to kill early usually. I mean, maybe an edge guard, but Cloud dying early and also getting the stock off Snake Ooh. before things get too <laughs> crazy. I mean, okay, as I say that, Game Watch got a little bit jumped there. Right, but. <laughs> right. All of the dash attacks you got to worry about. Yeah. And this is a pretty unfortunate situation to be in a snake. Already not something you want to get stuck in in singles, but in doubles, both the teammates hitting you off the stage. Really good response though from Anthony with that blade beam. Yeah, really good stuff because uh, Boost was kind of just ab abusing that left ledge, mm -hmm. just sort of hanging out there, going for the uppies, the back airs, just messing with the snake recovery, but really good blade beam from Anthony. And now it's, oh, well, actually another stock off from Anthony though. Yeah, plus uh, he's kind of doing some crazy stuff off the stage. I mean, two characters who have decent recoveries but can be exploited, and I think Plus is really trying to force that issue. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like, so, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, AG, but I feel like I haven't really seen a grenade pop for a while, and that, that two-stack on the bucket could be part of the reason. I think so. Like, even if the bucket doesn't come in, if the oil panic doesn't hit, the threat of it definitely changes the game plan for Blue Team. So we got a little more close quarters combat, but that's still pretty good for Rob putting some solid hits out with those F tilts and the dash attacks. Yeah, I mean it's been said a, it's been said once, it's said a thousand times. Snakes Snakes got the projectiles, but Snake also has hands. Mm -hmm. You can definitely and there's there's a great example of it. He got the feet too. The feet too. <laughs> Absolutely. And so Anthony isn't cool uh, going for the share stock here. Um, I definitely understand because now it's pretty even, especially with Snake being the heaviest character on the screen right now. And, I mean, Red Team at a pretty dangerous spot right now. If we can get one of those big hits from Snake or Cloud. Ooh. I think we've got an Oil Panic on deck. Yeah, he is blinking something fierce. So that's actually smart to go with the Blade Beam there. But in the scramble, it ends up being Rob losing the stock. And there, <laughs> there is the it is. What? <laughs> Look at that. Like, what a payoff. The very first thing that we saw in the game was the two ticks mm -hmm. of the bucket, like you mentioned. And yep. the very last thing was the payoff. Crazy. Oh, it, yeah, it, couldn't write it better myself. Honestly. Exactly, exactly. Um, super, I mean, very uh, fast-paced kind of game one. A lot of hitboxes are flying. I feel like sometimes in doubles, doubles is either like everything's sort of happening at once or you'll sometimes get the two 1v1s. I feel like we really didn't get much of the two 1v1s. There was a lot of disruption, which is good. Right, you know? right. Um, so yeah, really good stuff. PS2, Town and Diddy Kalos are the bands um, for the red team. Going back to small battlefield. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think the stage was the issue there. No, no, I think it was just... A matter of tempo, a matter of that synergy, because there were some moments where the edge guards may have been extended a little too long, or a little longer than blue team would have liked at least. Red team was having a great time though, tacking on damage to Snake after so many up Bs or edge guarding Cloud early, because right, Anthony, you know, was probably the favorite to kind of bring it home for the blue team, but lost so many stocks early. Ended up having to share stock, which kind of cost them the game, but yeah. cost of doing business. Going to run it right back, though. Two small battlefield for game number two. Yeah, here we go. And Snake popping the dash tech immediately. Going to get punished with a down throw there. Um, I think just the oppressive hitboxes from Red Team are really spelling a problem for Blue Team. Because, I mean, okay, like obviously Snake and Cloud have the big hitboxes too, but just the frequency that Game & Watch and Lucina are ping-ponging them around, it's, I mean, we're seeing it here a little bit, although Anthony isn't cool getting some damage off on boost right now, and now has a full limit. Oh my Ooh. gosh, the pressure does not stop. Yeah, pretty smart too to just kind of get the payoff, tack that damage on, and then get back into it. You don't want to, you know, do anything too, with, with too much cooldown, right? Get punished yeah. by the teammate. For so. sure. Very good presence of mind. That being said, though, Rob takes the scenic route back to the stage. This is <laughs> also a pretty good strategy. Yeah, if, for sure. If it gets too hot down there, uh, mm -hmm. really good stuff. Going to have to hold on to this stock here. Red team got so much mileage from the edge guards. But Ooh. look at that. Punish. 
really great awareness to get that up smash. Uh, Boost sort of panicking, trying to get back onto the stage, and Anthony isn't cool is right there, taking the lead here. Game Watch looking pretty healthy, and Blue Team, well, mm, Game Watch looking kind of healthy. Right. <laughs> and Blue Team not looking too great, but yeah, unfortunate buffered air dodge, I think, from Anthony isn't cool there. But, you know, getting some extra credit on uh, Boost, and Blue Team's looking, I think, a good bit better. Definitely, yeah. I mean, there were a couple of times where I thought Rob was going to lose that stock, but holding onto it and taking Ooh. two of them back to back, that is. Such a huge hit to the momentum of Red Team now, three to four. It was, yeah, and you know, Rob messing up the C4 recovery, but honestly didn't matter. He was at such high percent and got the early kill on Lucina, so you, you can't be mad at that at all. Oh, definitely not, and still tacking on some damage here too. Even right there, the defensive option ends up working out for Blue Team, and they're keeping the pressure on splitting into these 1v1s. So good for Blue Team right here. I agree. I think this, the two 1v1s will definitely be to the benefit of the Blue Team, just looking at the, uh, especially, well, Snake Game Watch can be kind of tricky, but it's, the one ones they had going were going pretty well, and they're just sort of keeping Red Team in their respective corners. Right, right. It doesn't matter necessarily if one of the 1v1s is net neutral. If your teammate is beating up the opponent, please just keep them busy. You, know? exactly. you don't have to be winning. Oh, Ooh. there's an Orlo Panic. Oh, and gets punished by the up tilt, though. Yeah, a lot of cooldown on that, and it's going to be Red Team going down to the last arc already. What a big change of pace from that last game. Yeah, wow, look at this. I mean... Anthony isn't cool just being in the right places at the right time to get this damage and these kills. Rob getting those early kills as well. You, uh, AG, you touched on it both last game and this one. Anthony isn't cool has done a really good job of picking their spots with like these big swings, like the, the limits and the smash attacks. And I feel like we really saw that make a difference in this game. Right, right. Like you have Rob holding down the ledge just like this, and then Anthony's lining up a dash attack, an up smash if they land on the platform. So many things are scouted out, even right there. Could have been a finishing touch if yeah. you're a little more <laughs> ambitious. But I'm honestly surprised that that didn't get punished. It seemed right. like they were in the perfect position, but Game Watch down there is scary, man. I get it. And even right there, Blue team scrambling a little too much, but they have a lot of room to work with here, so should be all right. Another big dash attack, such a fast burst option. Great knockback, too, and speaking of knockback, not a lot of moves better than that back. Oh, yeah, absolutely, especially on that gaming watch sort of stuck in the air. It was kind of cool. Uh, Rob and Anthony isn't cool kind of switch places in this last stock here. Like, uh, first, like right here, you know, Rob is off stage pressuring, and then they just sort of do a little tap yeah. out. I love that. It's some it's, cool synergy. It you know? is pretty sweet, actually. Let, let me run it back real quick, because as I mentioned earlier, too, there was a, a lot of Rob holding down the ledge and Anthony holding the roll on mm -hmm. or like the jump in. Yeah. And it, we kind of see him setting up for the right there, but then once the dodge comes out, you just see Anthony like activate. It was like very yeah. like sleeper agent. You it was know? a little like, fake out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The dodge came out and then off the stage immediately. And sealed the deal. Yeah, super sick stuff from Blue Team there. And we are tied at one game apiece. I believe this is still all best of three. Um, so this should be the deciding factor to see who gets into winner's finals here. And we're going to Hollow Bastion for the deciding game. All right, I like the idea. There's definitely something to be said about some of the merits of this stage for Blue Team. I mean, Snake has a couple of things that we can kind of see mm -hmm. possibly happen here with that center platform and the yep. C4. But it's definitely a great stage for Red Team as well. They can kind of stay close together and fight a little bit more, you know, 2v2s maybe instead yeah. of those 1v1s. It could be a different game. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think it'll come down like you're sort of uh, alluding to to the stage control, right? Like, if Blue Team is able to have sort of a monopoly on that center platform, it could get ugly fast. But if Red Team is able to stay in the faces and do, like you said, that those 2v2s, it could go Red Team's favor. So, um, to start off, uh, plus looking healthy, but Boost already dropping a stock. Right, yeah, there's a lot of damage, and the Blade Beam kind of sealed the deal, catching the jump mm. from the ledge. And Blue Team looks so comfortable center stage right now, but mm. that could be a big pickup if they can seal either one of these stocks. Yeah, could be good. They've, and I mean, they've kind of got to pretty soon, or else this is going to start getting ugly with boost percent rising. And the two Blue Team members kind of live in pretty long. Yeah, really good defensive routes off the stage. Mm. An ambitious forward air, too, and already Red Team looking to lose these next two stocks as well. Yeah, look at that. Anthony is cool is just going crazy, just dash attacking in both directions, back airing. Oh my gosh, and look at that! <laughs> <laughs> two different sour spots, but two And then quick another double kill. Unbelievable. Look there. at that. That, oh. was, that was some entertaining stuff. That's, that's doubles, baby. Right, right. <laughs> Quintessential. Just big mess of action here in the center. And honestly, it ended up to just a one stock lead, like one clean stock for Red Team, right? Or, you know, Red Team's deficit, unfortunately. Mm. But fighting back right now, nice a little dash attack to kind of open up the stage, try and wrestle that stage control that Blue Team has been doing wonders with. 
Yeah, absolutely. And that blade, limit blade beam is putting up numbers right now. Yeah, right. You've mentioned it a few times, AG, and I, I just saw it again. Like, Anthony isn't cool as getting the full limit and then just sort of tossing it out, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's been working. Yeah, it's, it's another, another one of those things. If it doesn't hit, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But if it does, it's great. Exactly. Even just keeping that person in the shield, letting your teammate wrestle some of that stage control back, very good stuff. For sure, yeah. Really great stuff from blue team here. It is certainly not out of the realm of possibility for red team. Um, but again, the survivability of blue team last game, and especially this game, yeah. is tough. Anthony isn't cool. It's down to their last stock. Um, so we'll, it'll come a lot down to uh, who's losing a stock first between Plus and Rob, I'd say. Yeah, Plus went for a pretty ambitious edge guard right there. Didn't really find the mark, and that dash attack is Oof. going to put red team on the last stocks here. If they can get an early edge guard or just some sort of crazy oh, combo God. on Anthony. Yeah, I mean, it could totally happen. Uh, I, I just realized that snake down throw is so good in doubles. I don't know why I'd never considered that before, but that's really good. <laughs> that's a really good option. Oh. Okay, it's going to be hard to kind of work <laughs> oh, around. Hands, hands, hands. All of these options. Just jab covers so many things right there. And then this is exactly what they want, right? Anthony holding that roll on. Mm -hmm. And then Rob just holding down the ledge right there. That would be crazy. If that, <laughs> I actually thought if, uh, if Rob had pulled it like a second earlier, I think that was it. Right. Okay, there goes the blade beam letting it rip a little... Maybe a little too hastily, but forward air is going to set up once again for the edge guard. Smart stuff to go high. So many good options to get down. And some oh. friendly <laughs> fire. Oh. Anthony's going to help him out. Okay, I mean, it's sort of, it's mostly fine, but if Anthony's stock gets dropped soon, Snake Game and watching a one on one, that can, that can get ugly. Right, right. Um, we, we still have a couple of ticks on the oil panic as well. Yeah. Maybe something to watch out for, but that should do it. Ooh, they oh. mess up a little bit. Anthony wasn't quite in position, but I mean, there's that middle platform. I'm used to Snake uh, terrorizing that platform from the other end, but right. from underneath, I mean, still threatening. Oh, man, what can't Snake do? What you can know? Snake do? Agreed. Um, and you're talking it out. I th oh, maybe maybe it's best of five? I'm honestly oh. not. I, uh, they're, maybe they're just gentlemen. They might just be yeah, talking. They're yeah. gentlemening to a best of five. You know? Okay, like, sure. Actually, the games are so good, we just need to play more. Why well, not? So. I'll, I'm having a good time commentating right? it, yeah. so <laughs> let's keep it pushing. But yeah, it's kind of tough when you're stuck on that platform. Even though it was Red Team's counter pick, I would say for the most part it was a fairly even stage. To yeah. And then at the very end, poetically, it was not really working out for Red Team. Stuck between a cloud up smash and a snake <laughs> up tilt, really hard to get yeah, down. Yeah, I certainly do not envy that position. That's uh, that's brutal. <laughs> Nightmare, nightmare. So, uh, yeah, all best of five. So all we are right, going nice. into the next game here. We are going to run it back on Hollow Bastion. And I do think that when we saw some glimpses yeah. of Red Team holding down center stage, it was good. We just didn't get a lot of opportunities to see it. But maybe in this game, they can change that up. Yeah, I definitely, I like the stick to your guns here. Go for a maybe a slight strategic change as opposed to a stage change. Um, definitely not mad at that. Right, right. Anthony isn't cool, already has the limit and has not popped it yet. Holding on to it here. Yeah, we saw a lot of early, you know, blade beams and you know, cross slashes, but there's one there finally. Some good shield pressure, some good damage as well, and kind of stuck off stage with no limit. Ooh, good coverage. Ooh, Two yeah, I right love now. these uh, oh. these up airs. And now, uh, Boost doing a really good job of keeping Rob occupied on the other side of the screen, and Plus is able to get that kill. Really great stuff. Yeah, it's very methodical too. Going for the up air to force the air dodge into the back air. Really good stuff right there. Gets the one, but... <laughs> I, I respect the attempt. I've seen yeah. Plus go for a few hammers, so maybe maybe we'll see the funny one. You never know. We'll see right now, kind of on the back foot, stuck in between that up tilt <laughs> from Snake yet again. <laughs> but Rob at 139 right now. Oh. Losing stock to that scramble, but Anthony oh, with a great yeah. pickup. See, honestly, those scrambles are so make or break and doubles. Oh, another one from Plus, unfortunate. But yeah, like coming out on top of the scrambles, it was great awareness from Boost and even better awareness from Anthony to go in and get the exchange back to even. And look, here we are, pretty much exact even game right now. Right, could be some good damage as well. Even small openings, we see, you know, plus go for some good neutral air damage or try to extend the edge guard. <laughs> Every wow. parry in the book. <laughs> They're going crazy right now, the big <laughs> forward smash against the shield. But I like that, going, going for just a couple hits of the Dancing Blade. You don't want to get caught throwing out a move with a lot of cooldown in yeah. the 2v1 situation. So. For sure. Um, and it was looking scary for a second because uh, Anthony had to burn limit because of getting dash attacked by uh, their own teammate. But we're we're back. Everyone's back on stage. Everyone's looking safe and no one's oh, looking to. Oh my gosh! Jab into that oil panic for the shield break. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that! Plus going off! 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Plus, found all of the right hits. Like, I could not have written it better, even if I was the biggest plus fan. Yeah, that was certainly some addition right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a uh, two for one special. Great stuff from Plus, and that's really swung the game a little bit here. Right, right. Now, if, if, I mean, if Boost can hold on to this stock, it looks very bad for the blue team, but. If they can take it, we're down to a fairly even game. The limit is going to be big here. We have to burn it to get back. We might not be able to see a lot more of that. Yeah, and I mean, they're, now they're sort of separated the two 1v1s with the edge guard situations, and Boost making good on their side of it, and now it is Snake stuck in the air, one of the few places Snake does not want to be. Yeah, we've seen some pretty good edge guards already in the 1v1 spots. But oh, wow, yo. <laughs> footstool into the C4 is crazy. That was nutty. I've I mean, I don't know. It looked pretty intentional, TBH. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, um, give, I'll give it up. It's I'll give it to. But there it is, the classic double situation in that 2v1. Nearly any move with cooldown gets punished by the teammate. So we saw the Snake F-Tilt get hit with that Lucina F-Smash. And look, at that was so smart. Even with the pushback off the stage, Anthony tried to, you know, knock the other player out. Yeah, look at and that. Punish, but there he goes into that the forward timing. Well. Yeah. Just worked out so, so well for mm -hmm. Red Team. And now we got a game five, which, if I'm being completely honest, I'm looking at game three. I think that Blue Team has figured it out. Yeah. But game four was just, well, a bit of a show. It was. Uh, a comedy, if you will. <laughs> and Definitely a comedy. It ended up working out for him. So we're going into game five back yeah, over back on small battle. 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 Okay. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, I definitely like the stage pick here, um, giving it a little bit more space and like, like you said, this, this is a stage they've been on earlier. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I, uh, it seems like every time we think that one of the teams has it figured out, the other team comes right back with an adjustment, which is why we're in, they are in winner semis of this tournament. Right. <laughs> um, but it's super cool to watch in real time, you know. Yeah, definitely loving to see all of these little micro adjustments. Like so far, blue team has been playing together and trying to force these 2v1s on the person who's a little more center stage because their follow-ups have been phenomenal. And as I say that, yeah. they get a nice pickup right there. Excellent timing from AG there because <laughs> that was a sick, I think it was just a cloud triple jab into right. Snake back air. Unfortunately, uh, Rob missing the tech there to drop the stock a little earlier than you'd want to see, but uh, it's still pretty even right now. Yeah. yeah, really good presence of mind. Two from Rob there, throwing one uh, and then just attacking the other member of Red Team is very smart. Keep that pressure up, like I said, try and force those 2v1s. Edge guard opportunity, but Anthony Ooh. falling short. Yeah, I think that was that was kind of antsy there. I, I think maybe, honestly, if it wasn't an SD, they were maybe going to like trade with the up B right, um, right. and get boosted up a little bit, but unfortunately does not, loses the stock, and we are all at two stocks. Wow, Snake f still into the cloud back here is pretty dangerous for Gaming Watch because that's I think the X Factor right now is Plus's stock right there. Mm -hmm. If we can hold on to that, it's a much more even game, but Blue Team is on the hunt. They want to take that stock so bad so they can kind of run away with a little bit of a lead here, but that back air does it. Yeah, it just catches them right out of the air. Um, the DI looked maybe slightly questionable, but doubles is so hectic I really cannot fault right. him. <laughs> I just assume you're probably trying to fade back there anyway. I wouldn't be yeah, surprised if you're for holding sure. to the right a little bit, but they're keeping the pressure up, splitting into these 1v1s. Anthony, really good stuff, breaks away from the 1v1 to punish the throw. Oh, yeah. They are all over the place. They are. Look at this. I mean, so it's sort of, it's split into the two 1v1s with the blue team members in the corner, and both of them just fought out of the corner to sort of take the advantage. We are once again at even stocks, but the heaviest character on the screen has the lowest percent, which is always scary. Mm. Um, we'll see what kind of, I mean, again, damage can build up in a hurry, especially with Game & Watch and Lucina, but right, right. blue teams looked pretty in control. I feel like they've had a pretty solid control over the stage. Um, they're getting a lot of really good confirms, <laughs> as I say that, oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, the 99 good ones they had, you were right about, and then they got the one bad one. But <laughs> still, I like the idea. The up air is going to do it, and this is a tall order for boost. But if you wanted to get that match MVP, this is a good way to do it. Yeah, I mean, this would be some crazy clutch gene. And you know, I mean, they're, it's tough because 92, like, I, well, okay, so like an F smash at ledge maybe, or uh, certainly a shield breaker will kill, but. Right, right. Lucina, Boost specifically, has really been thriving off of the edge guards, and it's going to be a lot harder to get in a situation like that with two characters. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Especially, like, everything is covered, even right there. Rob gets hit, has a grenade, breaks yeah. it up anyway. Oh my gosh, look at that. The grenade on the ledge, up smash and jabs. Every Anthony didn't even need to do anything to cover <laughs> the other options. 
But there it is, one more textbook example. Rob holding down that ledge and Anthony covering everything else. Roll, jump, it does not matter. Anthony isn't cool, is good at edge guarding. I'll that <laughs> He's one. certainly good at edge guarding, yeah. Really good stuff. Anthony is looking calm and collected along with Rob. Moving on to winner's finals uh, after a nice, pretty sick game five set, if I do say so oh, myself. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a back and forth mm -hmm. in one of the goofiest ways possible, but <laughs> yeah. I love to see it. It really does kind of illuminate some of the uh, more volatile aspects of doubles For and sure. Game & Watch, I guess, as a character, but still a great show. I'm very excited to see